I recently got invited to a lumberjack-themed Christmas party. Timber! Being a maker, I felt the need to make something fun for party pictures and give the hostess a gift. I found an axe handle style I liked online under Google Images, as well as an axe head I liked. Next, I moved the images to Matthias Wandel's program called Big Print. This program allows me to resize the object to the dimensions I desire, so I can have the outline to follow when cutting it out on the bandsaw. For the axe handle, I chose to make it 27 inches long, as this felt to be a decent size for a prop. I made the axe head 8 inches long, as that felt like a good balanced length as well. Next, I printed out the images and placed them on my boards with 3M adhesive. For the handle, I'm using a 2x4 and two 4x4s glued together for the axe head. My 14-inch bandsaw makes quick work of getting the axe head closer to the desired shape. With the axe head cut out, I needed to define the blade. I eyeballed the center point and drew a reference line to cut on. I knocked down the hard edges on my belt sander and then moved back to the bandsaw to cut out the handle. I enjoy using larger blades as they give me a straighter cut. The downside is, is I can't make sharp turns. To overcome this, I cut relief cuts around the corners and this helps eliminate that issue. With the outline of the handle cut out, I next use the bandsaw to knock off excess wood so it's less for me to sand down. Next I draw out the outline of the handle on the head of the axe. Then I drill out the center using a Forstner bit. I then use a jigsaw to square up to the line. I cut a slit in the handle to accept a piece of walnut. I found my square hole to be a little larger, so I tightened it up with more walnut slices that ended up giving it a cool look. Next, I wanted to hide some of the less than perfect square hole that I made, so I cut some thin strips of walnut and boxed in the handle. After completing the axe, I spray lacquer on it and rub in Meguiar's Plastics, which is a plastic cleaner and polish. This gives the wood a super high shine as well as a plastic feel. Tell me something, Mr. Lumberjack. Is it one for forward and three for back? Is it two for stopper, four for go? Boy, ask a whistle punk. I don't know. You don't cut timber on a windy day. Timber! Stay out of the woods when the moisture's low. <laughs> or you ain't gonna live to collect your dough.